Well, here we are. Finally, after eons, you can see an MX-5 in AMS-2, and it's available now. So go grab it. I'll leave a link in the description below. So this is available now, although it's got it's about 99% finished. There are a few little graphical glitches you may spot, but physics-wise, um, it, it, it's here. It's ready. Here I am in uh, VR around the mod truck at Bannock Bray. Absolutely thrashing the life out of them, no problems at all. Uh, it's It was a bit of a weird omission from MS2 not to have these cars in. I mean, every big title has got the MX-5. It's usually that starter kind of sports car that everybody uh, went for. I've got a break early here. Otherwise, I am in the lockup sitting in that wall. Whoa, I'm getting a tap from the rear. So, yeah, it was in everything. You name it, you know, Gran Turismo, iRacing. It, it, was, it was always a firm fan favourite um, of those kind of low-powered sports cars that gave close racing. This being rear-wheel drive, quite light. It's only 170 brake horsepower, but more on that later. Um, it just... Uh, it, it's just a weird thing that it never appeared in AMS2 until now of course because XTC has filled the void stepped up to the plate and give us these uh, absolute beauties now there's going to be two versions of this this is the street strokes track version so it's 174 I want to say brake course power Quite soft compliant suspension, um, quite understeery when you uh, push it, nice and predictable. Um, and then there's going to be a hardcore track version, more brake horsepower, yada yada yada, to come soon. As we're half on the pavement, get me back on the road, thank you. I'm running the uh, AI at 110. As you can see, they're giving me a, a, a proper run for my money. Whoa. But the car just, it feels right. It just feels balanced. It feels right. Lots of grip. Not a massive amount of power. But again, like I said, this is the, uh, the road version. The suspension is nice and subtle. And it's given me a massive amount of feedback. As you can see, I let go of the steering wheel. We're uh, hitting the limiter down the big straight here. And we've got this kind of, um, as you'd expect, push it in too hard and it's going to understeer. You can induce a slip angle and oversteer fairly easy. Still on my side, he's out of the way. Um, but ultimately, the car just feels really balanced, really nice, and you get some really good close racing. Let's try and screw the speed off. Again, we're not running no carbon fiber discs and F1 brakes on this. It's, uh, you see, you've got to be uh, a little bit cautious when you're on the brakes and the turns. The AI is uh, certainly uh, doing the business here. Graphically, the car models just look perfect. Woo the uh, patina on the cars is done by design. It's not a, a 
fault. I'm not sure what he's going to do with the track ones. I've not seen those yet. I don't think he's uh, started, but it's, it's not a massive task just to kind of pep these things up. Well, I say it's not a massive task. It would be a, an insurmountable task for somebody like me. Um, but for XTC, it's, you know, it's, it's the hard work's been done. It's in the game. Just got a little fly through our chicane there. Drop it to fourth. Yeah, you can just feel, you can just put these on the edge and just feel what they're doing and control it. Yeah, you can lose it. He says rattling into the back of that one. You can lose it because uh, it just it just uh, it kind of invites you just to drive these things right on the edge. Not sure. No, no. Possibly. Think so. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Owen. Okay. Getting confused. Easily done for me. Okay, we're losing this pack in front, so I just need to. Uh, do an absolute fly through here. Hold your breath, people. <laughs> it's as close as you want to get. But yeah, it just it it, it 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 draws you in and makes you do mad things like that. Yes, you do get a lot of confidence with what the car's telling you. That's to know what you can do with them. I have put a, a little bit of time in this because I've been obviously running some of the, the earlier versions of the car for XTC just to uh, dig out any graphical bugs and yada yada yada. So this is not really me first go, but I am a little bit addicted to them. Um, like I said, these are firm fan favorites. It's a bit like the Escort in that way. I think uh, people are going to be putting quite a lot of time into these. Uh, I mentioned it to Matt that these were coming out and his first thing was, uh, oh, we're doing a live stream. <laughs> so we're going to be having the, uh, the Mod MX-5s online live stream racing, which I think is kind of just where they, uh, where they belong, uh, just this close racing. It's just and such a forgiving car. It's perfect for your online kind of stuff. Hello. I'm going through. I don't care. You can back up. It's good in me tears. No, we have got through. Amazing. Yeah, I mean, we're not going that fast compared to other stuff, but yeah, you feel like you're doing a million miles an hour in these things, they're that low. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. And using the H shifter with them is uh, <laughs> loads of fun sneaking through the gears let's get an L up on this on we go so much <laughs> so much was the anticipation for this Carty actually uh, got hold of the uh, the template for it and did his uh, did his own custom paint job while the thing was still in beta banging around Ulton Park with them. I mean, these, these things are made for club circuits, the smaller stuff. And 
weekend we've got the uh, we've got the bigger track machine coming which is uh, it's going to be really interesting what, what you can do with that thing so we've got ourselves up into second and we'll be breaking early so the amount of times that I've just just completely understeered off at that bend is not even funny anymore. Let's have a little world two. Map four of eight. We've got quite a bit of time to go yet. I will uh, try and give you some external views, although this isn't really the track to be doing that. Oh, up the inside, nice move. Knock it up into fifth. You've got that uh, that long <laughs> fifth gear. The car's struggling with its 170 brake horse. Then, I mean, 170 brake horse in a car this size is more than enough, to be perfectly honest. But uh, you get spoiled in these racing simulators. 500 brake horsepower is the norm. It's something that weighs the same as a tea bag. coming through these other cars that were ganging up on me and I was losing contact with these two for a moment you're just gonna have to you're just gonna have to sit here and, and watch me do uh, eight laps of this because it's just ah! the sun's got me Fort Adam then, as I rattled, oh I've got to give the place back, right sorry, race control, didn't let me go up on the pavement, Ooh. wonder what that blue little message was, now I know, what we like with the tyres, tyre wear's good, no damages yet, rear brakes are a bit cold, Miss my gear, not good. Again, I'll leave a link in the description below to these, um, and of course, you'll find the link to Banner Prey if you haven't got it. That's it, you two have a little scrap, slow each other up, that's it, perfect. Let me come winging back in. Inside, inside. No, no, no. I'll have one of you. No, you're not backing out, are you? And yet another lap under the belt. <laughs> it's slightly lift there, he still rattled me. So yeah, this is this is what the MX-5 in any game is renowned for, it's close racing on there. Uh, yeah, he's nailed it. That's what we got. We've got the close racing. Are going to be uh, absolutely fantastic when they hit 1.6. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Go to the back out. Sight in. I should have done my mirrors are a little bit high. Should have done my seat position in the mirrors. Well, we'll, use, we'll, we'll use that blast out of there. Whoa. Coming back at me. Oh. On 
understeer it into a bit of a slip. Now we've got a good flyer out of there. So we have got in front of them. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, back end just being a bit hazy. Let, let's give it a lap of nothing in front of me, completely not a madness. What are we on? Coming on to lap six of eight. Tyres are good, slight bit of wear on the front. Let's go. Right, I'm going to keep quiet for a lap and throw this thing at the thing. That was a lap of uh, putting your foot down. Whew. Okay, let's have a look at the outside of this car. Oops, helmet cam. Uh, roof cam. There we go. Little thing bobbing around on the suspension. Try and drive like this for a bit. just sits out and away you go a little go-kart yeah that was that was never a wise idea looking behind me Ooh. So we are on our uh, seventh lap, we'll just let the, uh, the accompanying cars catch up.
we'll have a little race to the end. Let me get on my helmet cam. This is my usual preferred way of driving. Just let a few of them go past. So they have been absolutely hammering this the past week or so, so uh, I'm kind of tuned into them. I should really have put the AI a little bit higher. Here we go, lap and a half. guy yeah 115 would have probably been where I'm at with these so like I said the um, link to these will be in the description below they will be getting finished up between now and the weekend but you can get in them now the physics and the car model the, the physics and the, the, the physical car model is there it's just little tweaks that need finishing off but XTC is a little bit busy with work at the moment so rather than you all sitting there twiddling your phones you can jump in now and you've got the, uh, the the trap monsters to look forward to as well I reckon there'll be a few cars you can put these up against as well hmm. okay so we're on the last lap so I need to uh, work out where I can get this guy I'm thinking chicane, I'm thinking I've just braked too late. Oh gosh, second gear, back steps out. Third place is coming at me. As the sun sets behind the, uh, the mountains. Oh, here he is, here he is. Spanner in the works. overtaken on here because the suspension is subtle enough I've still got control over this bumpy bit of track yeah went from went from okay leave it in fourth go for it all the way out to the edge just enough grip then we come up to fifth truly chicane Nobbling on the inside by the bonny bray or the skinny burr or the bony burr, that's it. Many different names, bony burr. I always forget which one it is. Down the hill. Exhaust by fluttering on the down on the uh, overrun. So yeah, go get ye some MX-5 fun. It's been sorely missed from AMS 2 but it's here now. So go grab a copy. And thanks for watching. Yes, the pits work. <laughs> the 
trucker running out. Right, thanks for watching. That's one funky steering wheel he's put on there. Did he change the... No, some KPA, it's just to freak me out. Right, jobs are good. Adios. <laughs>